Hello there, you 185k awakening people joining me in a wonderful battle against ignorance. I have good news for those who ask me where they can find my old videos, some of them with millions of views. The good news is that you can find them on the Rumble platform if you search for My World is Getting Dumber. Bear with me, my friends. I will try to put at least two clips per day on this platform. And also, I promise you that this YouTube channel will be what it was before and even more than that. Today, as usual, I will react to people not knowing the answer to simple general knowledge questions. And because my American friends complain that I only talk about ignorance in the USA, I initiated this series, America versus the rest of the world. Today, America versus China. Let's roll the intro first. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. We don't need no education. We don't need no education. Really? Really? Education's important. Most people are ignorant. Ignorant and proud. Ignorance. It's like a disease. Some people are stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Stupid. People this stupid shouldn't be allowed to vote. What do you know about China? Communism. Communism. Crab Rangoon, you know, cheese wontons. We have a Chinese roommate, Yi. Probably the e. fastest growing economy in the world. Economy. China Wall. Confucianism. China General Wall. Sows. Is Hello Kitty from Japan or China? Japan. Never mind, I don't know anything. What do you know about China? That I'm really uneducated about it. You and just I have don't, to like, read honestly, or to I see want to know, but movies. I don't know. I don't know, Chinese food comes to mind. I love Chinese food. takeout. Oh, that, it's awesome, yeah. But that's so stereotypical. You said about the country, in your mind, the first reaction is what kind of reaction? <笑>美国人吃饭西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西哈西
Well, we just got into a couple of car accidents. And that's about it. Be you. You can only be you. And I mean, be, be strong minded about who you are. Hey, 大家好，我是大麦茶老师。大家怎么样？你吃狗肉吗？我不吃、啊。哦，我不吃，很少吃狗肉。我不吃，从来不吃。呀，肯定不能吃的。狗狗是人类的朋友。哦，老师说，我吃过。就是我在很小，我还懵懂无知的时候，我确实因为家里的大人在吃，所以我也就跟着吃了。我们家养狗啊，我们家养狗狗是我们的宠物，也是我们家庭成员。啊，我不吃狗肉。嗯，我不吃的。不吃。Do all the Chinese people eat dogs? Ew. I mean. No, just in very limited place in China because of the culture of eating. Because of the Some culture people may of eat dogs, but for me, when I'm growing up, I never meet any friends of my eating dogs. So sorry, the answer is no. Spell the word receive. R R E C I E V E D. R E C I E V E D. R E C I E V E D. No. Next question. Next question. We found someone here. I'm going to test him on his Chinese. In English, this means portrait. Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. A lot of the people here on Nanjing Road. This is the busiest street in Shanghai. There are a lot of tourists from all over China. Okay, so you got people from Shanghai, Beijing, Hunan, Anhui, everywhere, right? So, and what I'm finding is people from different places are getting the same ones right or the same ones wrong. I think it's all to do with the the influence from the dialects that they have all over China. This is how you say it. Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. Oh, this is wrong. It's Xiao Xiao. Fourth sound. Xiao Xiao or Xiao Xiao? Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. 笑笑 ，OK， 答对了，你是第一个人答对了，那还不错的。看来你中文还是不错的。你是哪边的？湖北。湖北 ，OK， 酷。Plum。P N O N O F L E M M E。Plum is F L M B。Plum。P H L E M。P H L E M。No, it's not P H L E M, because you are missing a G. Alright， 来这个就怎么念？粗犷，粗犷吧，粗犷，粗犷，粗犷。Good job, hey, you got the second one right. This one, 粗犷。A lot of people say 粗犷， right? But it's 粗犷， and that kind of means like kind of rough, kind of messy. Spell accommodate. Accommodate. A C C O M I D A T E. Spell accommodate. Oh, A C C O M I D A T E. Two M. A C C O M. A combo. O D A T E. It's just a very simple one. Okay, ready? Okay. This is blood. Blood. Some people say blood. 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 血液，血液，没错，没错。血液，血液。血液，血液。血液打对了，打对了。血液。哎，没错，打对了。血液，有些人会说血液，这不对。After months, sometimes years of studying, nearly nine and a half million high school students in China are finishing the most important test of their lives, the Gaokao, often called the battle to determine fate. Students' marks on the exam are set to determine their entire future life opportunities and earning potential in China, with the belief that those who excel on the test will have the best careers and even marriage prospects. Do all the Chinese people good at mathematics? Well, this question is hard to answer because I don't know what is the level from good to bad. Let's do it. Let's do it. Two. 负一，哦哦哦，七四四，啊，十三。这个三二一。So it's two minus three is minus one. 来，等于多少？三二。负十。呃，这个吧。好，能说出几位？三零四五九二六五三五六。Wow, I don't know so many numbers. I only know three. Most Chinese colleges base admissions almost solely on the Gaokao. The test covers subjects like science and math, plus essay questions. The topic of this year goes with the current background and national mainstream cultural values. College entrance is especially competitive in China, where the top universities only select as few as 1 in 50,000 students. 1 in 50,000 students? That's pretty low. 
That's like 0.002%. To the hall. That's an equation. X Alright. The pressure is so intense that occasionally test takers resort to cheating. Several arrests have been made this year. This drone was deployed to detect electronic signals that may be used by cheaters. The drone will report to us when detecting an unusual signal. Based on those reports, we can search the source of the signals and who is aiming to cheat during exams. Whoa. Drones. People are cheating so much that they have drones in charge. This reminds me of Minority Report. Like robots are surveillance. The test is so important that factories and buildings will shut down while the exam is underway as police cars patrol to keep streets quiet. Ambulances are placed outside exam facilities in case of nervous collapses. Nervous collapses. Check this one out. Two fish are swimming in a river. The older one asks, how's the water? The younger one says, I don't know if it's clean or cloudy. Write an essay. Wow. So to me, these are anything but cookie cutter questions, and I'm, I'm fascinated that these are some of the topics for the essays I, I don't know how I would respond to. Last October, President Xi Jinping said that while art is based on imagination, it should still be down to earth. Down there may be earth. hundreds of ways to create art. The best way, however, is to trace back to the people's daily lives and create something based off that. From a materialism point of view, this is because, one, art originates from the daily lives of people. Two, art depends on innovation. But literally, it's saying the same thing. Three, the way art reflects on society and its style is unified. Four, art is a form of ideology that reflects people's lives while at the same time serving the people. God, this is confusing. I have no idea. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's raised the, the education status of, of a whole country and, and that's something that uh, uh, has it's accomplished well. The Gaokao has been seen as symbolic of the Chinese education system as a whole, and both the exam and the system itself have been criticized for putting impossible pressures on teens. Outbreaks of suicides accompany every exam season. Wow. <laughs> 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 That's finally simple, very simple. The containers for milk are always square boxes. Containers for mineral water are always round bottles. <laughs> round wine bottles are usually placed in square boxes. Write a composition on the subtle philosophy of the round and square. Oh my god, what? These are so broad. What do you even say here? I'm so stressed. <laughs> what the heck? Can you name any country on this map? Come on, any country. Yeah. Africa? Africa. That's a continent. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can you name any countries in Africa? God, no. Who knows stuff like that? You couldn't name any country in Africa. There are lots of countries in Africa. Okay, you can start with uh, Algeria, Egypt, Libya, Morocco. You can continue with uh, Botswana, 
Swaziland, Kenya, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and so on and so forth. I need to start learning about things that I don't know. But why did you find it so difficult? Because I don't like study geography enough, <laughs> and I should. You yeah. know, you, we should know that stuff as human beings. Right, right. We should be culturally aware. We should. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like the curriculum in the U.S. is shaped in a way that kind of just like doesn't bring about like a lot of these issues. One, it doesn't tell you a lot about like the issues in these countries, but also doesn't tell you where they are. Like the fact that Shelby and I literally sat and looked at a map and. Oh my god, I don't want to say this because it's going to make America sound bad, but America doesn't really care about like other places. Like We want to say that we're a unified country compared to some other ones, but honestly, we never really left the whole isolationism thing, and honestly, that made us ignorant to a lot of people. Can you tell me the total sum of all degrees in a triangle? 360. Oh, that's a circle. Is it a triangle? 360. 180. 一百三十四减七十六等于多少？六十八。六十八。六十八。一百三十四减七十六。六十五。五十八。一百三十四减七十六就是六十八。七十八。五十八吗？Come on, that's easy. Fourteen times five. 14 times 5. 14 times 5. 60? Wrong. <laughs> 70. So what is 14 times 5? Come on, Jess. You got this, Jess. 35. 35. 三个人吃三个馒头，用三分钟才吃完。如果这样的话，那九个人吃九个馒头。9199 I need a pen and paper. I'm a visual person. Pen and okay. paper, yeah. 9,099 plus 100. That's 100. 10,000? 10, <laughs> 10,000. Oh my no. god, this should be so simple. It actually We're is. We're way too reliant on our phones. Uh, the, I, I presume. Right to our phone and just. You know, we're doing so much multitasking, we're forgetting simple things in life. 7乘以9等于多少? 63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。63。
The conclusion of this video is that there are plenty of uneducated people from all generations and from all countries that you can use as examples in a video like this. Let's fight together the war against ignorance. It's a good war. See you in the next video. Bye bye.